hello once again welcome back to my youtube channel in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to fix permanently 403 forbidden error then access to this resource on the server is denied and mostly you see at the footer here you see proudly powered by light speed web server and then some other inscription so i'm going to show you how to fix this permanently so we're going to do this at the control panel so log onto your c panel and what you're gonna do is that just make sure you locate your file manager at this control panel and then open that. What we're gonna do over here is that we're gonna locate this folder, our website folder from the file manager. So we need to locate the website folder that is actually locate the website folder that is actually causing that error. In my case, it's gonna be this folder. So we just open this. And we'll open this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna target this entire file. I'm gonna select everything. And then I'm gonna deselect. So this is the WordPress file. We're just gonna deselect the WP content, and then also we're gonna deselect the WP config.php. So we're gonna leave those two files out. So mostly they contain the information of our website. So after leaving those two files out, I'll go ahead and then delete these files. Okay. I'm gonna click on confirm, and then after that, I'm gonna do something next we're going to reinstall our wordpress so we'll go back to our control panel here and let's come down and then reinstall wordpress so, so let's go ahead and then just click on wordpress from here so over here just click on install now and then we actually going to install this on the website so just locate the website you're going to use so i'll select the website so i'll select the website from the list and then i'll mostly go with the http and then the w and then we're going to use a different directory so we're going to create a new directory and in my case i'm just going to call it fix so that is all just install this particular one in a different directory and then come down and then click on install we're just going to wait for the process to complete and then i'll show you what to do next okay so we are done with this we are going to go back to our folder over here so we just have to reload this we just have to reload this and you can see we have the new wordpress installed within this fix so that's the new directory we created so we just have to open this now and then we're going to go ahead and then delete the WP content so we select the WP content and we also delete the WP config. So we're gonna delete those two files from the new installation. So after doing that, I've deleted the WP content then then WP config. So now we're gonna move this, so select everything, and then we're gonna move it into our main website folder. So just remove the fix, let's remove that and then move it back to our main folder now that has been done i'm just going to click on back so you can see we have moved this back into the main website folder so let me just delete this fix because we don't really need it again now we have the http and then i'm going to leave some file at the description which is actually the default what do next is just i'm going to leave this file at the description i'm going to leave this file at the description the default ht access file okay so we just copy that and come here and then the htrcs file let's just click and then go ahead and click on edit click on edit over here and we actually going to replace this content actually going to replace this content so i'll highlight everything delete it and then i'll paste the default one there's going to be at the description of this video as well like subscribe and turn on post notification if you enjoyed this video tutorial now after you're done with everything let's go back and then load this website and then see if this is going to work so i'm just going to reload this it's actually going to take some short short time and you can see my website is back i'm actually at the back end of this website and i can continue working on my website so basically this is how to fix this particular error like subscribe for more videos like this like come away again bye bye